Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Medieval. Last time, we... I'm trying to remember what we did, even though I edited this episode just a while ago. Um, we kind I think... Oh yes, we're about to <laughs> burn Castle Peregrine down. Wonderful. Um, now this episode, I do have to say that it is, um... It is post-commentary. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing over the own game sound. But, uh, yeah, it's post-commentary because when I made this episode, I kind of didn't like the commentary I made for it, and it was kind of crappy. So, we're just going to do it over again. And I'm not too worried about it. I think it'll be fine. Now, uh, here we're fighting the stone golems. And we're running around in circles, and I'm being an idiot because I need to use the dragon armor instead of the push and the stone because the push will end up getting you thrown into the or daring dash has a higher chance of throwing you into the lava and two it's really really hard and waste time when the dragon armor just freaking pushes them off the cliff <laughs> oh my gosh i'm sitting here yelling at myself playing <laughs> i'm one of my friends he was uh, talking he was talking about uh, one of the spyro videos that i made back uh, whenever for Spyro 1 and how in Town Square there were all of those gems that I missed where I turned the camera and looked directly at it and now that I go back and watch it it's so annoying because I'm like how did you not see those they're blatantly there <laughs> uh, oh my gosh I'm doing so horrible just use the dragon armor yeah look I think that's like three life bottles Way to go. Anyway, I... Th the reason I'm doing post-commentary here, and the reason that I didn't like my commentary before, is... Well, the... I kind <laughs> Time trials make me freak out a bit. And, like, not freak out in a bad sense, but the thing was I kept pausing, because I couldn't figure out what to do. And I really, really desired to look up what to do. <laughs> so, like, I kept wussing out. <laughs> or just, I kept wussing out and looking everything up, and like, <laughs> and like, I was, I was spazzing out, and I was like, where's the chalice? Where's the exit? I can't find it. I only have two seconds left. And then, <laughs> then I ran out of seconds, and fire burnt, because the volcano erupted. <laughs> And then, like, I was freaking out for a second because I thought I was going to have to do the level again. But they're actually quite forgiving and put you back here with one health bottle. <laughs> well, like, it might have been what I had when I... No, I think I had a way more health before. But, like, they, they at least give you a decent amount of health when you get back. And here we're at the pause thing. So I'm just going to sit here and wait, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. That means that my lookout freak out, my lookup freak out is over, and I finally realized that oh, the dragon armor is what you're supposed to use. Way to go! However, I didn't realize that oh, you need to, <laughs> you need to pull the lever with something other than fire because fire doesn't work. <laughs> and look how, look how easy it is now. I really wish I would have noticed that myself. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh. Anyway, that went by really fast, and I have a minute and like 59 seconds left or something, so I have way more time. <laughs> it's pretty good. And, um, I'm trying to remember what I did. Um, do they respawn enemies, or were they there before? I don't know. Either way, it's kind of good that they spawned them, because, like, you can get the chalice then. And, like, you... I think I missed this before, you actually have to go in here, throw the rune, and it shuts off the oil, so you can go, or the, was it oil, or, I think it was oil or tar, or some kind of sludge, I can't remember, but it shuts it off and it allows you to get over here. Hurry, the castle is about to be destroyed, the gates are locked, find an alternative, alternative route, and I didn't get to read it all, because I guess I was really, really fast right there. <laughs> Either way, though, this is a pretty cool ending. You launch a cannonball, and you get in the cannon and fly out. It's it's pretty dang great. But at this moment... Oh! I can't remember where the chalice is, even though you found it in the previous video. 
and I think you were looking at it a few seconds ago or something. Where is it? Freak out time. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we're back. My freakout's over, and I'm finally realizing where the freaking chalice is after looking it up. I really wish I didn't look it up so much, like, but, but, like, an imposing time trial really scares me. <laughs> But we're almost there anyway, so it doesn't really matter any. It doesn't really matter anymore. The episode's been recorded, and I'm fine. So uh, let's hop on that. No, get the last chest. Ah, uh, my gosh, I could have gotten it. Either way, Hall of Heroes. I got the chalice. Either way, eh, it's not that bad. And here we are, wishing in. I don't think the gargoyle has anything new to say for us. Yeah, no. Uh, he, he's hard, he's having trouble writing new lines. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember what power-up we get here. It might... No, wait, we already have the lightning, don't we? If not, I just spoiled it. But, uh, I think the doors in the center were open, so, yeah. Horseman doesn't have anything to give us. Ooh, I... Excuse me, I'm sorry. Ooh, that was disgusting. Um, oh, yes, it's her. But I'm going to walk away. Go back. You can get stuff. Jeez, what am I doing? No! Just pick the junk up. I... As you can see, it's blatantly obvious that I'm being stupid right now. Because I need to stand on the platform. I'm probably talking about something. But I don't know. I, in me, For me right now, it just looks like I'm walking in circles. Like I don't know what I'm freaking doing. Where's the pad to stand on? That's probably not it. I'm probably talking about something, but still. It looks pretty goofy if, like, if the if the original audio isn't playing. Have I stepped on it yet? No, I'm still waiting. Jeez. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> well, hello, stranger. I've got a little present for you. Why don't you shut your eye and hold out your hand? Woohoo! Two really tiny life bottles. They're better than nothing, though. Anyway, I think it's time we get out of the Hall of Heroes. I mean, I can't really decide. Way to go! Smash your face in that throne a few more times, why don't you, Dan? My gosh. And the wall. There we go. Leave the Hall of Heroes. Um, I think we're coming up on the end of the episode, but we have a maybe about almost a minute more, so I'm gonna rattle on for a bit. <laughs> um, I probably rattled on a bit after I left the Hall of Heroes. Yeah, look, here's the next level popping up. That level is horrible. And I'm pretty sure I express my opinion of how horrible it is in the next episode, because I recorded it a few days ago, and I thoroughly expressed how much I hate that level, I'm pretty dang sure. The ghost ship is awful. It's so hard. It's ridiculous. It might be even more difficult than, than the Asylum. Actually, I think it is my least favorite level, the Ghost Ship. I said the Asylum was, but really, the Ghost Ship's harder because you can't evade it with the Magic Sword. It's all platforming crap, and it's really difficult. Like, some of the enemies won't die until you kill other enemies, and it's really complex and stupid and hard. But it's fun. Why did I go in? Did I just go into the Ghost Ship? What am I doing? Well, you're gonna get to see the intro here, but you're gonna get to see it again in a bit. Oh no, I skipped it. The ghost ship. Yeah, that was probably, yeah, it's me quitting. <laughs> see you guys in the next episode where we will tackle this wonderful level. Bye guys. Oh, and G Grimex X, have a happy birthday today. <laughs>